All right, guys. So this should be the last episode <clears throat> with the fender flares. Um, I got the hardware in. Um, so all we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put some of this uh, extruded uh, U-channel around the edges of the of the parts and bolt them onto the car, and that should be it. So this should be a pretty short video, and finally call it done. So. Um, in the comments, just let me know what your thoughts are on the color. I'm going to leave it the, uh, uh, just painted it with that black bed liner. So I think it'll have that rough look, a uh, rugged look, but I don't know how well it'll match to the paint job that's on there now. So I'm a little bit, uh, on the fence, whether or not I should just paint them white or maybe carry the camo, the razzle dazzle camo, uh, onto the fenders themselves or the fender flares. Um, but yeah, please give me your opinion. Uh, in any case, let's get to it. just want to show you um so basically i, I bought this uh uh rubber u channel on ebay um i should have bought something a little bit um wider grip capacity just because there are spots that are a little bit thicker um however i'm not i'm not using this as an exterior finished piece i'm using this uh just on the edge that sits against the body so it doesn't scuff off the paint um so i think it'll still work well um once it's uh mounted against there some still some dust on here but in any case also i'll talk to you about the hardware so i'm using um uh flathead screws these are uh, allen head um five thirty seconds it's a quarter 20 thread uh this is stainless steel hardware uh whenever you put steel remember my inserts are aluminum so uh, you have to put some sort of anti-seize compound because you can't have if you have steel and aluminum together they will fuse together it's a, a, a process of uh, corrosion that you get when you have the two unlike metals together so uh, you have to put some anti-seize uh, I'm gonna use this uh, copper grease uh, this is what you put on the back of brake pads so they don't squeal but it uh, works really well as well for this and then I'm gonna use these washers um, they are for flathead screws, but you can see they're countersunk uh, and they're anodized. So because they're anodized, we don't have to worry about a uh, reaction to the metal. So you don't need to put um, any anti-seize on these, but that's how they're going to look when they're up against the body. So it's going to be a very clean finished look. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the rubber strip mount rubber strip mount so i'm gonna go uh back and forth um to get these on
is really designed for a sixteenth of an inch. I should have gotten something that was at least an eighth, but in any case, what I'm doing is I'm just spraying a little uh, spray adhesive, um, and then I'm dabbing it on uh, to this edge, and uh, let that get tacky, and then um, that will help the channel to stay on there long enough for me to, uh, you know, just so it doesn't fall out while I'm trying to get it on the car. Once it's on the car, it'll be pinched against the body, so it'll, it should be fine. But that's kind of just uh, a little uh, band-aid, I guess, that I'm putting on these just to keep going, because uh, I did order the wrong channel. Right, guys there it is all done and mounted up so um, I really like it with that without that pods side pod on there so I think I'm gonna leave it like that but you could kind of see what it does to the body line it hugs the shape of the door is the rear fender an extender basically an extension now it's got that Jeep Wrangler black plastic kind of look uh, with the um, bed liner so but let me know in the comments if you think I should paint it I'm debating whether to like pick one of these gray tones and just paint them that you know corresponding gray or or maybe even white um, now that the um, not that you have the uh, uh, bed liner on there, uh, you could paint over it and it'll still stay pretty uh, pretty tough. Um, and these are not the flexible type. This is hard fiberglass, reinforced. Um, so this is not fragile by any means. I mean, you can't step on it to climb onto the bed. But you wouldn't do that with the soft plastic ones either. Um, the only advantage to the soft plastic ones is that they would flex. Whereas if something hits this hard enough, it probably would crack it. But it's fiberglass, so you could easily repair it. So I'm finally calling this, uh, you know, eight-part series done. Uh, I know it was a long series, but uh, I tried to get as much detail in it, in it as possible. So... Hope you enjoyed the videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you. Ryan Little. <laughs> Listen.